welcome. I'm Grant, and this has been Buster. Right, I watch a few budget bit movies for you. Today's movie is none other than that image graphic novel. If you're a fan of Watchmen, you're a fan of Batman, Superman, Deadpool. This comic book movie is for you. You're not a fan of that stuff, but you're just like gore, guts, and death. Then this movie is also for you. Today's movie is none other than the image graphic novel. From the image graphic novel, Officer Down. Right there it is with the holographic cover to it. Hold on. Like, I'll even throw it up this way for you guys so you guys can see it better. There. I'm just going to use it in the sleeve because I like that holographic sleeve. So, it literally says right there, if you thought Deadpool was sick, you ain't seen nothing that it says the Los Angeles Daily News. A hardcore griminess that's punishing powerful. Right, we got this covered. So, this movie, he is the cop the city of lawlessness needs. Because he is Officer Down. Yes, I know. It's also a play on words. As always, I'll give you my good, my bad, my thoughts, and the overall rating for this graphic novel. I say graphic novel, not comic book, because Image is for... Image does a bunch of graphic novels, not necessarily comic books. There's a difference. Comic books are usually about 30 pages... 25, 20 to 30 pages about that. That a graphic novel is usually the Long Halloween is a graphic novel. They're usually much thicker and much more adult oriented than that. That's why they're called a graphic novel. This is a graphic novel. This is a series from Image Comics called Officer Down. I suggest you guys, if you guys like Deadpool, check it out. You guys are going to love that comic book. The Goods. This movie starts off with Officer Down just walking up there. And then it he talks a little bit, then he goes into a scene. Literally, in this movie, we have orgasm counters. Yes, there's orgasm counters with Officer Down. We get a taste right here early on of what this movie might be like. And they just don't do that once. Or twice. It's, it's happened several times in the movie. Why? Because he's Officer Down. It's a great, a great ad adaptation of the graphic novel. With the same name. Kind of like Robocop meets Deadpool, Kick-Ass, and Dread all into, rolled into one. And that's a perfectly good estimate on this. I say that perfectly because it's more like Robocop, Deadpool, and Kick-Ass than it is Dread. But this guy, like Dread, stops at no cost to do it. And his weapon's kind of cool. It's his personalized weapon, and it shoots big bullets. Yeah. The casting... Of Officer Down was good. I was too truly familiar with this when I first watched the movie, so I watched it a second time. I, I, I love the other characters in here. They are all pretty well done. I had to go back and read a graphic novel just so I knew who some of them were, because they just say your names and like you're supposed to know who they are. But I enjoyed it. The villains were over the top, just like they are in the graphic novels, and it was brilliantly done. The first villain you see. They're making this drug. Officer Down comes in, shoots up the place. Boom, 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 boom. The building blows up. Officer Down is dead. Would you like, what? They're killing him off early? Yes. But through the miraculous world of tissue regeneration, I guess you could call it that. They don't really say what it is. They're able to get Officer Down back again. He has the same memories. He doesn't know he's dead. So he, his memories, he knows who he is. He has no feelings, no emotions, no nothing. He's just the perfect cop this city needs. That's all he is. And that's all he does. There's other cops in the force. They're there just to clean up. And not to be seen by Officer Down because he's a one-man wrecking crew. Every villain in the city hates this guy. And there's this thing. He's always there for them. He's always there to come after them. Now I'm going to get into the, my bads. The Fortune 500, who are the villains in this movie, are a bunch of animals. Literally, they're animals. And they had masks on. I thought that this would be better if they had prosthetic pieces. The mouths could barely move. I understood what they were going with, but getting prosthetics on, or even move into your mouth like this, like they found out that they did with Ryan McDowell, what he did in the original Planet of the Apes. How they had to move their mouth to actually talk in that mask. They could have done that. 
that took away from me because it's like, oh, you guys had all this for the, all the special effects and stuff, but you guys cheaped out on the masks. If you will want to watch a superhero movie with your kids, this isn't that movie. Don't watch this with your kids. They're going to have so many questions. <laughs> this is a purely adult comic movie. As Deadpool should have been. This is purely adult oriented. There's a lot of sex scenes. There's a lot of adult themes. And there's nudity through, uh, thrown throughout the movie. That's why this is not for kids. I mean, this is rated R. I do kids who watch Deadpool, but this is not up there with Deadpool. This is actually much more graphic and much more coarse and much more adult than Deadpool ever will be. Because he's now too much mainstream to allow that to happen. The next, my last bad for this movie is the cuts. The edits are so drawing at times. It, it can give you whiplash or epileptic or a seizure. If you suffer from seizures, don't watch this movie. The cutscenes are so jarring that it takes away. I understand what they were doing, kind of going with it. They were trying to do it like comic panels, but it just didn't work. Please, guys, if you have, if you suffer from seizures or get headaches while watching flashing lights, please don't watch this movie. Those are very jarring in that aspect. I mean, it's fun. I, I enjoyed this movie. It's zany. It's corny. At times, it's cheesy. But Officer Down comes back to life again and again and again and rids his city of all the crime i mean it's it has some stale acting in it but it's enjoyable acting i give this three stars it's a middle of the road movie it's good it's going on my shelf with some of my other comic book movies and it's a good thing because i'm growing my non-marvel and my non-dc collection with officer down you guys like comic book movies you guys like graphic novels Get Long Halloween. I have it right up there. Get Long Halloween. Watch it. Then watch something like this. Something that's outside the realm of DC and Marvel. Something that they will never put out. Logan and Deadpool are probably the most graphic and adult things we're getting from Marvel. Period. DC, they tried it with Watchmen. There were some kind of worked, kind of didn't. This is, you like adult humor, you like adult movies not adult as an adult where it's porn not that way where you like adult themes and adult graphic novels more adult graphic novels this is the movie for you enjoy it i enjoyed it i give it three stars and remember he whenever there's an officer down in the city or your city looks like it's so infested with crime like mine here in chicago whatever you go and do get officer down make it a movie night and remember He's not watching me good. Dive right in.